This morning, ABC News confirmed some documents from the Trump White House turned over to the committee investigating the January 6th attack were torn up and had to be taped back together. Politico first reported in 2018 that aides were often forced to tape up shredded documents due to Trump's habit of ripping up White House records. A statement from the National Archives seems to confirm that report, saying documents sent to the committee, quote, included paper records that had been torn up by former President Trump. It comes as another person close to the Trump administration cooperates with the January 6th investigation. Former Vice President Mike Pence's chief of staff, Mark Short, has now testified before the committee. The news coming just hours after former President Trump admitted he wanted Pence to, quote, overturn the election on January 6th by throwing out some electoral votes. That's clearly not the, what the Constitution uh, provides for. He, he must be kidding. At a rally in Texas over the weekend, Trump also suggested he would pardon the January 6th rioters if he were back in the White House. If it requires pardons, we will give them pardons because they are being treated so unfairly. Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney responding tweeting, quote, Trump uses language he knows caused the January 6th violence, suggests he'd pardon the January 6th defendants and admits he was attempting to overturn the election. He'll do it again if given the chance. And this morning, the New York Times reports Trump was more directly involved than previously known in plans to seize voting machines after the election. The plans were conceived by his advisors to get the Justice Department and other agencies to seize the machines to look for fraud. At the rally in Texas, Trump called the prosecutors investigating him radical and racist. A district attorney in Georgia is now asking the FBI for extra Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.